What is going on YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be going over how to unlock a locked safe. Now, before I do that, um, I want to point out that there are four different levels of saves you can unlock. There's the novice, which is a beginning, which is the beginner level. Then there's the advanced, the the expert, and the master. Now, in order to unlock each a safe, you will need a bobby pin. <coughs> when you press, <coughs> sorry about that. And the first time you press A, this message will come up: lock picking. I adjust the bobby pin with the left analog stick, up, down, left, right. Use the right analog stick to turn the screwdriver. If you spot, if the spot you've chosen is is correct, the lock will rotate and open. If the lock resists, release RS, the right analog stick, and use the LS, the left analog stick, to reposition the bobby pin. So I need to be careful because I only have one bobby pin currently. But basically what you do is you use the left analog stick to move the bobby pin around. And the right analog stick will move it. Now what you see here. That it means that the bobby pin is in the, is in the incorrect position, and you'll notice that in the first position it barely moved, but now that it's over here, it's moved quite a lot. That means we just need to move it a little bit further, and the safe unlocks. Now there's usually good stuff in, in a locked safe, like this time we have 15, 38 rounds. 24 10 millimeter rounds, a pipe pistol, 21 stacks of pre-war money, and a silver pocket watch. Now, each skill level is a lot harder. For instance, the beginner, the novice. Um, with that one, you don't have to be dead on. But once you get to like master and expert, um, the bob pin has to be in the exact position in order to unlock a safe. So those ones are very difficult to do. And if you break a bobby pen, you will need to have some more because if you don't, you cannot open the safe without a bobby pen. It, j it just doesn't work. So, bobby pins can usually be found anywhere. Um, I know I found one, one or two in the Vault 111. Sometimes you can buy them. Sometimes you can loot them. They're just everywhere. Along with all the different saves. Keep in mind, some saves will belong to somebody, like an NPC or a member of the Brotherhood. And if you try and steal them, they will become hostile. So, <coughs> um, But they can be found anywhere. They're basically that big safe that I just unlocked um, or there's one other option of safe I'm trying to find it um where are you it's around here someplace I want to see it's this I know it's one of these buildings that's about fly give me a second Okay, well, apparently I can't find it at the moment, but... <laughs> so, the safes, they're those big giant safes that you saw me open before. And then there's also little safes that are in the ground. Those ones are harder to spot because sometimes you can... They'll be buried underneath each other. So... But yeah, that's basically it. It's not that hard to do once you get the hang of it. Um, so I would recommend you don't try and do an expert safe. I would recommend you start off with the beginner if you haven't unlocked a safe before. Oh, here it is. So this is, this is the other type of safe. 
you can see it's kind of in the ground. It's much smaller. So, but yeah, that's how you unlock a safe. Basically, you go up to it, and you just have to find the the right angle. Obviously, that one failed, and now I can't unlock it because I just broke my bobby pin. So, but anyway, I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below, and I can answer them. Um, and yeah, uh, if you haven't played Fallout 4, I highly recommend it. Uh, it is a fun game. There are some drawbacks, though, but... Um, by far, my favorite Fallout is definitely Fallout 4, then Fallout New Vegas, and then Fallout 3. Um, and then Fallout, then the newest Fallout, Fallout 76. I don't particularly like that one, so... Uh, but I hope you all had a... I hope you all like this video. Uh, don't forget to s smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and Snapchat at MintyJosh19. Um, I hope you all had a good weekend. I know the weekend's over. So, I hope you all have a good work week, and I will see you all next time. Later.